Hey there! Welcome to Life Noggin. For over 50 years, humans have been exploring space. In 1957, the Soviet Union launched the world's first artificial satellite into space, called Sputnik 1. Since then, we've landed on the moon, created the International Space Station, and launched the Hubble Telescope into space. And nowadays, there is talks of sending humans to Mars within the next several decades. But what would a trip like that actually do to the human body? Let's jump in our space shuttle and find out. One of the most well-known consequences of space travel is the weakening of bones. Throughout your life, your bones are broken down by large cells called osteoclasts, releasing calcium into the bloodstream. And at the same time, other cells called osteoblasts make new bone. And for most of your life, these two processes tend to balance each other out. But that changes when an astronaut goes to space and lives in microgravity. That's because their bones don't have to support as much weight and they aren't subjected to the same stresses that they would be on Earth. As a result, the calcium in their bones is broken down and released into the bloodstream, reflecting a decrease in bone density. Some scientists think that's because the body breaks down bones much faster than it builds them up in microgravity. And within a single month, an astronaut's bone density can decrease by as much as 1%, which can lead to an increased risk of bone fractures when they return to Earth. One small step for man, one possibly dangerous step for a returning astronaut. There's also bad news for an astronaut's muscles particularly in their legs and back due to a lack of use. Exercise can help prevent this, but one study found that even with exercise, muscle volume and strength still decreased. Clearly humans were not meant to live in space, but animations like myself can. Oh, I am finally free from Triangle Bob. But the list of negative effects just keeps going. Without an Earth-like gravity, astronauts can even have vision problems. Researchers studied 27 astronauts who spent an average of 108 days in space, and found that around 22% of them showed flattening of the back of the eyeball. And a lot of the optical abnormalities are similar to those found in people with idiopathic intracranial hypertension. The heart also changes in space, and not just because that spectacular view of Earth makes it skip a beat. It's actually a lot sadder, because an astronaut's heart can potentially lose mass and become slightly more spherical, possibly because of a decrease of blood in the body. And when these astronauts come back to Earth, they might experience a decrease in blood pressure, making them dizzy and even faint after standing up. All of this sure gives you a greater respect for astronauts, huh? Earlier this year, NASA astronaut Scott Kelly and Russian cosmonaut Mikhail Kornienko returned to Earth after a year in space. This mission will help scientists learn even more about how long spaceflight affects the human body. And since Scott Kelly has an identical twin brother who stayed on Earth during that time, scientists can even study genetic changes that may have occurred. After all, if we're planning on eventually sending a lot of people to Mars and back, we'll need to know how the trip will affect them, and how to prevent these negative changes and make future space travel a lot safer. Would you be willing to travel to Mars? What if you only had a one-way ticket? Let me know in the comments section below. Hey there, you might have noticed I was wearing a cool shirt in the beginning of this video, and I'm wearing it now. I normally don't need clothes because my pixel coating keeps me warm enough, but I was modeling this new Life Noggin Headspace shirt that's available for one week only. This is the first time we're doing this in the real world, and every dollar goes to supporting Life Noggin. It would mean a lot if you checked it out, plus, if it looks great on my rockin' pixel body, it'll look even better on your human one. The link to buy this limited run t-shirt is in the description. Thank you so much, guys. As always, I'm Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.